Zotero is a free open source app that provides tools to enhance all the aspects of your research workflow. It allows for quick automatic capture of citation information, tools to store, organize, and share research articles, and tools to automatically generate citations during the writing process. To install Zotero, you will need to install two separate pieces of software. First, there is the Zotero app, which installs to your personal computer. Secondly, you will need to install the Zotero Web Connector, which is a browser extension that integrates with your web browser. You should install the Web Connector with the web browser you use when you are conducting research. Zotero works with Google Chrome as well as Mozilla Firefox and Apple's Safari web browsers. It does not work with Microsoft Internet Explorer or Edge. Installing the Zotero app is similar to software you may have installed before. Download the setup program and run it. The web connector will install directly through your browser. Click the button to add the extension and your browser will prompt you with the instructions to add the extension. The first and most powerful feature of Zotero is the way it allows you to automate the capture of citation information. For this to work, you need to have the Zotero app running in the background while you are searching for research items. To use Zotero, launch the Zotero app The Zotero app has to run in the background while you research for it to work properly. Once Zotero is running, open your web browser and begin your research as normal. Zotero sits innocuously in the add-on sections of your browser's location bar. To use it, click it when you have located a resource that you wish to use in your research. When you click on the Zotero app in your browser to capture an item, you should see several pop-ups showing the progress of the inclusion of your research in the Zotero app. This is a good place to note if Zotero got the format of the item correct. Wait for these pop-ups to show the download is complete, and then you'll find the item in your Zotero library. It's that easy. Once you have collected your research, you can use the Zotero app to manage and organize them. Zotero manages items, not unlike Apple's iTunes manages music files. All of your items will be visible in your library, shown in the main panel of the app. The rightmost panel shows you information about the item selected. Use this area to confirm that all the detail Zotero has collected is correct. With certain types of files, like websites, Zotero may fail to collect the name of the site's author or the date of publication. You can correct or add this information to the item record using this panel. You can create collections of items using the panel on the left. The inclusion of an item in such a collection does not remove it from your library, nor does deleting a collection delete items from your library. You can use these collections to organize your research by creating collections for specific classes, specific research projects, or for specific research papers. The latter can be very useful when using Zotero to create citations for a research paper. Zotero offers several different ways to generate a citation for an item. You can right-click any item in the main window and choose to create bibliography from item. This will open the Create Citation window. Here you may select the citation style you wish to use and whether or not you want a note 
or inline citation, or a bibliography, also referred to as a full or reference citation. Finally, you can choose how you want Zotero to give the citation to you. Zotero can create Word docs, HTML files, or print the citation. I find the most useful option is to copy to your clipboard. This allows you to go to your research paper and paste the citation in. You can trigger the window for more than one item by selecting multiple items and right-clicking. This will automatically generate citations in the proper order for you to paste into your paper. You can also generate citation lists for the contents of a collection by right-clicking the collection folder and to choose Create Biography for Collection. With this, you could automatically generate the complete reference list for a research paper. You can also drag and drop items from Zotero into a Word document and have citations created automatically. This will use the default citation style selected in Zotero's preferences. Dragging and dropping normally will create a full citation, while holding shift down while you drag and drop will create an inline citation. Zotero offers plugins for Microsoft Word and the free word processor LibreOffice. To install these, go to the Tools menu in the Zotero app and select Add-ons. If necessary, you may have to enable the plugins in this window. To use the Word plugin, look for the Zotero tab in the Microsoft Office ribbon. You should see several controls. First, click the Documents Preferences button to choose the citation style you wish to use for your paper. Do not worry about the other options here, the defaults are the best. You can use Zotero while you write your paper. When you finish a sentence that requires a citation, Go to the Zotero tab and click Add or Edit Citation. This will bring up a search box where you can search for the item you wish to cite. You can select multiple items here as well. Hit Enter to place the citation. It is as simple as that. When you are done with your paper and ready to write the reference list, Zotero will generate it automatically for you. Place your text cursor where you would want the reference list, then click Add or Edit Bibliography in the Zotero ribbon. Zotero will create a citation for every item you cited previously in your paper. A note, it is always good to review citations generated this way for errors. A tool like Zotero can automate 99% of the work of managing and creating citations, but you should always double check the work it does for you. It will occasionally make a mistake. A very nice feature of citing your research paper in this way is that Zotero will automatically update your paper if you need to change the citations in any way. If there was an error in the Zotero item, you can correct it in Zotero like perhaps the date of publication or the spelling of the author's name. Those changes will propagate through your Word document when you hit the refresh button. Zotero also lets you switch citation styles on the fly. This is very useful when you may want to switch from a inline style like APA to a citation style that uses footnotes like the Chicago Manual of Style. It is easy to switch them back and forth merely by changing your style in the document preferences. This concludes the overview of Zotero. We have explored how Zotero can help you collect, organize, and create citations for your research. 
I highly recommend that you integrate Zotero into your research workflow. It helps you track your research and removes a considerable amount of the tedious work of citation. There is more to learn about Zotero, such as how to capture multiple items at once, how to share your research with collaborators online, and how to import specific citation styles into Zotero. If these topics interest you, I have made an additional video that covers them.